Right now, the Soledad Community Center is shut down because of the pandemic, but if the power goes out, the city hopes to open it back up to the public. It happened last year and we fully expect it to keep happening. City manager Brent Slama wants Soledad to have a plan this fire season. And if PG&E turns the power off, people could count on the community center for backup. When there are disasters or any other issues that come up. We want this to be a place that the community knows that they can come to. The city of Soledad is considering entering a 10 year agreement that would allow PG&E to use the center. It would provide people with access to their most basic power needs, things like charging phones, laptops, or even medical equipment. PG&E would be able to come in and bring a team that would help provide services to the community. Those things that you need when you don't have power. To mitigate fire risk, PG&E shut off power in nine different occasions throughout the state in 2019. The majority took place in September and October due to high wind speed. PG&E spokesperson Jeff Smith says supporting the community through shutoffs comes with new challenges this year. We've been partnering with local communities to identify locations where we can still set up these community resource centers centers should a public safety power shutoff be necessary, but that our customers will be able to maintain the proper social distancing, will be requiring masks, of course. Slama says the center has the space to keep people safe. These planned shutoffs that we're having, they're unfortunate, but I think that's part of the reality of life, and we as the city of Soledad need to be prepared for that. The city will need to approve the plan before PG&E can move forward. City Council will discuss it on August 5th. In Soledad, Megan Meyer, KIO and News Channel 546.